So before I start this amazing video, can I just share with you guys something that is absolutely insane and that is heavy metal machines. Now can I also just chuck in that this is a free to play car battle MOBA that basically unites unique gameplay on a post apocalyptic world of heavy metal. Now even though I may look like a noob in the background, as you guys can see this game takes a whole bunch of skills alright and it is a ton of fun. The whole aim of it is to basically grab the bomb and take it to your enemy's base three times. But you come across loads of different challenges, you can choose any vehicles of course in the game with three weapons, they all do vary and basically you gotta carry your teams back and you gotta take out these enemies and take that bomb over to their side but once you have the bomb of course that is where the real challenge begins. Now go ahead and download the game, the link is in the description below, like I said it is a free to play game so you have no goddamn excuse and also if you enter into the Discord community, you can ask for a special reward from the community manager. All the links are in the description below. Go ahead and check out this game because it is a big ton of fun. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now before we get into the really really cool stuff I wanted to say thank you to everyone that did support yesterday's video about Alex. If you didn't see that video and if you are a Marvel fan this is very very important so go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. Just kind of a little update. I am in the process of kind of trying to work something out with Alex um, to hopefully benefit of course Alex's purpose and get him more out there. Now that being said, diving into the greatness that you can see in the title, teleporting in a Spider-Man PS4. Now just as you think this game has seriously done enough with the glitches, we have a brand new one. Now just a little recap, as you probably know, of course they did patch quite a few different things um, with the new updates that they have done, but now this glitch basically allows you to teleport by using the train and also going under the map. So what you guys see in the background is basically how you can do this. So just find yourself a location where the train of course goes into a tunnel. I have pinpointed this on the map so you guys cannot miss this at all. All you have to do is wait for the first train then jump onto it and it basically breaks you through the first wall. Now as you probably saw in the gameplay in the background before jumping on the train when you try and even go a little bit further into the tunnel it says that you are going out of bounds but once you jump on top of the train it basically just crashes you through all these walls. Now it doesn't stop there once you guys actually do that you need to wait for the second train. Now when the second train comes you just simply jump back right on top of it as you guys can see and it will take you through the tunnel and firstly right under the map. Now if you guys actually want to go under the map you just move to the left and start swinging if not, kabam, you just teleport into the middle of freaking nowhere. As you guys can see on the map, we're literally way, way out of the map. And it kind of, you know, beats that whole getting out of the map glitch before. And of course, this takes you to a complete different location. As you guys can see in the background, where there is just nothing. Just simple, boring 2D buildings. But the fact is that you are well out of the area. And it'll be really interesting if you have the time and patience to actually go ahead and try and get off the map itself so what I mean is when you open up your map you won't actually see your icon so hey if you have the time on your hands and the patience then go ahead and try that one out but nonetheless I thought it was a very very cool glitch. Now the second thing that apparently has become a trend and what I personally think Insomniac have really really set the bar high for is making their game look like a damn freaking movie. Just in case you don't go in the mythical lands of Reddit or you simply don't use any other type of social media besides YouTube, uh, then you won't know this. But if you do, which most likely all of you do, uh, you will see a load of like, I guess famous shots in movies and all that kind of stuff recreated. For example, we have the Scary Monster 1988 on Reddit that done his classic take on the 2002 poster with the Raimi suit. And I seriously, if like, if you were, for example, to show me this maybe 10 years ago, 
I would have thought this is for a movie. And then we also have the what's up danger photo. Again, this guy who goes by I need a Mewtwo who I'm ready. Uh, where he does his, you know, little take and version of this. And it is really, really, really cool. You guys always see me posting in my community tab as well. Really cool things that people are doing with the photo mode. And it just really goes to show how evolved this thing really is. And I feel like a lot of people are just getting started using the photo mode now simply because most people have completed the game and all the DLCs and this is what they want to go ahead and try out. And with all the different filters as well, it definitely is very, very interesting. So go ahead and try that out for yourself. Now lastly, if you are into collecting statues and so be it, well, there is a Spider-Man statue which I believe is coming sometime in May and it is with Spider-Man in the Insomniac Games' advanced suit and Bill Roseman did announce it. So hey, if you're one of those people I love a statue this may just well be for you and I think it looks really cool as well so you guys can check that out in the description below but that's going to wrap up this video here as always if you have found anything in the game that you feel people haven't come across by all means let me know in the comment section below I do also encourage you guys to go ahead and try out these uh, photo modes and recreating pictures as I think it is really really cool but guys I will see you in the next video but till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos.